Well, in almost all neurological cases, with few exception, the majority of neurodegenerative cases in our offices would be treated at mild to moderate pressures. Typically, neurodegenerative disease we keep below 2 ATA. Why do we do that? For us, it's because most of the vasoconstriction that occurs because of hyperbaric oxygen happens in the central nervous system. In other words, the nervous system is protecting itself from excessively high levels of oxygen. One of the main reasons we have vasoconstriction inside the central nervous system is the body's attempt to reduce the risk of central nervous system oxygen toxicity. And while the central nervous system has a high metabolic activity rate, meaning it requires a lot of oxygen for function, it's also sensitive to getting too much oxygen. And so if we can find a protocol that delivers a large quantity of oxygen under the radar, and keeping that patient safe while also making it an effective therapy for them, that's my go-to protocol in those cases. And so for patients with neurodegenerative disease, where we're trying to treat the nervous system, knowing that the nervous system is the most sensitive, and in these cases, the central nervous system is damaged, we have to be very careful with how much oxygen we're delivering. And so our protocols would range from 1.3 to 1.75, the overwhelming majority getting somewhere between 1.3 and 1.5 ATA, and a very standard program for us would be 60 to 90 minutes per session, four to six sessions per week for a minimum of three months.